Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in. So today I'm coming on just to tell you guys about um, the concert that I went to on Saturday. So I was really excited about going to the concert. The concert was a rap concert in Los Angeles, California at the Forum. The concert included E-40, Fat Joe, Buck Thugs, Bones, and Harmony. Did I say that right? Um, Ice T. Oh, um, The Brat. Okay, and somebody else who I'm missing out, leaving out. Okay, some other people. So, I wore this lace blouse and some jeans with holes. And my husband, my husband wore a nice shirt button up. So, when we get to L.A., we can see people walking across the street to the concert and... Maybe not so dressed up. My husband said, hey, I feel like I'm overdressed. I said, no, you're not, because I did see some people that was dressed up. He wasn't dressed up, but he just had on a button-up shirt, you know, collar, you know, nice. And I said, oh, no, babe, you know, I saw some people that was dressed up, so it's okay. So, we get, get into the concert, and we had floor seats, which weren't, like, closed, but not bad considering we were on the floor and then it went up like this and i wasn't trying to be up here so we were down here which was perfect so we had really good seats and the first thing we did was my husband got it got us a drink and the drinks were 13 dollars and we have a blast we had so much fun. I really enjoyed this concert. I was really hyped. I stood up the whole time dancing. <laughs> the concert started at 7. We got there at 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. So five hours. And I stood up the whole time. I stood up the whole time and I was dancing, getting my boogie on, just really just having a good time. E-40 was the bomb. Oh, I just had fun with E-40. But overall concert was just was really good. There was a lot of people smoking marijuana. There was a lot of people smoking weed. There was weed everywhere. And, um, I just felt like it was too much for me. At first, I was thinking I will never come here again because, one, it was closed and no windows and, um, no exits. And at one point, I just felt like all these people just closing in. I needed to get out. I needed to get out and I needed to get some air. So they said we had to walk up some stairs, but there was a rail, thank God. And then we had to walk up some stairs, which was no rails. So I didn't have on high heels, had on some boots, but I had a little heel. But it was wet because everybody was spilling beer. Everybody drinking beer, beer, beer. So people were spilling beer. So when you walk it up, it's wet. So I'm just taking my time one, one step at a time, trying not to fall. And it's all this wet beer. But I had to get out at one point. So <laughs> we got upstairs. We went outside. I was like, whew. So not only was I sweating like a man, because I sweat. And I was dancing. I was dancing because that's what I do when it comes to some old school rap. I just love me some old school rap. So I was sweating. I was like sweating. I felt like closed in. I couldn't breathe. I need some air. All this weed. All these people just. So we got up stairs outside and we got some air. So that was perfect. And then we went back in. But I was thinking like, oh, I would never come here again. But. You know, now that I think about it, I said, okay, I would, I will, I would, but it would have to be up on that, on that first level, 
not flat, but on the first level, because that's where the outside is. And so I can easily just go outside and have to work up, not have to worry about walking up all these stairs to get outside. And then not only that, so it was it was fun. It was the um, the concert, which is the music, which is off the hook. But everybody got drunk. Everybody got drunk. <laughs> And it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. You know, you see people just just doing all kind of crazy stuff. So, you know, me and my husband, we're people watchers. So we always looking at people laughing and stuff. So we were able to look at people and laugh. And at one point, there was this one young lady who was lost. And it was just comical. She was just lost and she kept trying to go in the aisle and people were looking at her like, you don't see the end. And she would back up and she would stand there and she like, hey, she was so lost. She was so drunk. It was ridiculous. So everybody was drunk. Everybody was drunk. Everybody was high. There was weed everywhere. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> and um, I don't like that. I just don't. It's just, it's just not me. I don't want to be around a lot of people who are drunk because I'm a paranoid person and I'm so paranoid I just think about what if something happens you know a fight break out so I'm very aware of my surroundings when I'm around a lot of people and people are drunk and people are smoking marijuana so I'm very aware of my surroundings I'm watching it all times you never know when something on something gonna happen because I did Years ago, a friend died at that forum because a fight broke out or something and he was running a grown man and got stepped all on and he, he ended up, he was dead. So I, I couldn't help but think hours later after seeing anybody arguing with each other, I saw a couple arguing with each other, he had, like he was going to hit her at one point, um, there was these these guys arguing with each other. Look, I was about to be a fight. My husband called that. Thank God. But I said, all right, good eye. You know, there was one lady the cops had to tackle her and, <laughs> and uh, put the handcuffs on her, had her up all up against the wall. There was one point where cops was, I don't know, it was cops of security running through the place to get somebody. And that happened like a couple of times. And, um, uh, uh, two different times people got taken out on a gurney <laughs> so I get to feel uncomfortable in a situation like that and I'm thinking at this point I prefer not to like if it's something going on a concert on um, outside because we, we do have a couple of those here that I've been to that are outside that's all good okay I, I can get some air I can breathe you know I, it's open that's good but just being enclosed in like that feeling like oh I'm about to have a anxiety attack a panic attack I need some air help get me out of here mm, I'm cool the music was good the concert was good you know I got to get my boogie on my leg was even hurting <laughs> my leg was hurting the next day that was all good, but just, um, I didn't like being enclosed in like that. And I saw so many people drunk. I'm thinking like, wow, there were so many friends, carrying friends, walking friends. So many people walking around, uh, drunk. Everybody was just drunk. Everybody was just drunk. And it was, um, kind of comical looking at some people like that. It was kind of sad, um, to see some people like that, especially when I would see two, um, two friends so she helping her friend to the bathroom and she just as drunk as her friend so I'm thinking like how they gonna get home and um, the way that everybody was dressed it was funny it was stuff to laugh at uh, some people was just dressed nice cute a lot of people was dressed really casual um, Jeans and a t-shirt, shorts and a t-shirt, tennis shoes. But then you have some people who was dressed, dressed, dressed up. Um, you know, I'm going to the club, nice, you know, <laughs> like that. Um, I saw some people just dressed really nice. Um, this kind of concert, I think the next time I would definitely dress a little bit more 
casual. I think I some tennis shoes. Tennis shoes where something break out, I can run. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So everybody was um, everybody was um, dressed. There was just all kinds of some of everything as far as when it came to how everybody was dressed up. There was some hoochie mamas. Some like, whoa, hold up here. You know, some of that going on. Yeah, so. But overall, I had a really, 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 really nice time. And yeah, so now I feel like, oh, I'm going to go to another concert. But it has to be outside. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it. I had a really good time at this concert. Me and my husband, we only had... Um, one drink. That's all we need. One drink, and um, I had to drink a lot of water. Um, yeah, so I was drinking a lot of water. But oh, I even had I got a signed autograph for somebody, but I was fanning like this, you know, because I was hot and I needed air. This was my little air, and I kept looking. There was one exit door with this. This officer stood there all night, like, okay, nobody can go out this door. And I kind of kept my eye on that door, like, okay, if I need to get out the door, I'm going out the door. If I need the exit, that was my exit, you know. And I'm really, really claustrophobic, claustrophobic, cluster, claustrophobic. And I am. I mean, I have it really, 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 really bad. And I really thought that I couldn't, I was going to be able to make it in prison, you know, because you're in a cell. But I got through all that, and then uh, fire camp climbing up the mountain, all these trees, and I got through that. And um, I can't now. I can't stand to be in small spaces. A lot of people around me. I start to feel overwhelmed. And I start to panic, and so at, like a movie theater. I've only been to the movies once since I've been home. And I kept telling my husband, no, I don't want to go to the movies. I don't want to feel like I'm all closed in. I've been closed in for a long time. You know, I need I need to be out. I need to be moving. I can't just sit still like that. And so when I did go to the theaters, it was horrible. It was just, I was panicking, was having a panic attack being sitting there that long time. And so, yeah, I do have a problem with that. I, I don't like being closed in like that. And so I had to get up and move. So I made sure I was m moving and just really trying to relax myself the whole time. And then it, it was sad because my feet start to hurt, not at the bottom, but at the top of my feet for some reason here on both of them. It just felt like somebody hit my feet with a sledgehammer. It was just horrible, worst pain ever. But, you know, I positive talk my, to myself and said, OK, you can do this. You can get through this, you know, just relax for a minute. And I kind of threw my boot was like going like this kind of massaging my feet. But. I was saying that, okay, you can do this, you can get through this, and sure enough, the pain eventually went away, and I just danced my little butt off for the whole five hours. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, and thank you, and you, and you, and you. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? you. Okay. All right, you guys, so if you're not a subscriber, please push that button and subscribe. Alright you guys, until the next video, peace! peace.